Structural queries are still a big need for modern web apps. And with WebSQL deprecated, IndexedDB not having structural queries, web developers need a tool to satisfy their structural query needs. Hi, my name is Arthur Su, and I'm here to talk about the LoveField project that solved the problem. LoveField is a relational database for web apps. Web app developers need structural queries that works in the mobile world. Our users need the web app to work either online or offline. How can we build such app? This seems to be the reason IndexedDB was built. But even with offline support, there is a steep learning curve to make it useful for your app. Moreover, IndexedDB does not provide structured queries, so many of us just write domain-specific query functions that works only for the app apps that we were working on. To address these problems, I built LoveField, a JavaScript-driven relational database that runs inside your browser. LoveField improves on the concept of IndexedDB with simpler APIs and more control over persistent storage. It is built for structured query needs. IndexedDB does not offer structured query features such as sorting by multiple columns or joining the results of multiple tables. These can be easily done with LoveField. LoveField also makes data persistence way easier in two ways. First, the APIs are much easier to use. And secondly, LoveField offers transactions which provide you full control on when to flush data to persistent stores. The last and most important part is LoveField is designed with developers in mind. It is open source, easy to use, cross-browser. Yes, you hear me correctly. LoveField works on IE, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Even better, LoveField is designed to work with its existing JavaScript frameworks. And we've tested it with jQuery, Angular, and Polymer with no problem. Let's move to a quick example to see what LoveField can do. Assume we have two different types of objects. One is called task that stores a task to be finished, and the other is called person, which stores data about a person in our app. In good old days, we list all tasks that are in the works with their owners using this simple SQL statement. Select from task and person where task states equals to working, and task owner equals to person.id. How shall we do this in our shiny new JavaScript web app? Let's forget about the code that reads data out of IndexedDB. Let's just concentrate on the select logic. Say we have an array of task objects, a hash table that maps person ID to person objects. To do the select, we need this wall of code. This code's problem is not only the size, but also how much effort needed to maintain or change it. LoveField is designed to make the simple select simple again. In LoveField, we describe data type of table in schema. To construct a query, we first retrieve the schema by calling the getSchema function of the database connection. Then we construct our query using the builder pattern, which is very similar to SQL's select statement and easy to learn. LoveField's queries are JavaScript functions. After minifying and uglifying, it makes SQL injection next to impossible. This is very good for security reasons. It also has positive impacts on performance. You're writing JavaScript functions that cascade together. There's no need for a SQL parser, and it just works. LoveField can do more than just simple queries. It has some great functionalities, such as group by, advanced sorting, pagination using limit and skip, and so on. The code snippet here demonstrates how to group results, sort the results by multiple columns, and implementing pagination using limit and skip. LoveField's relational query engine provides SQLite function, fundamental functions, select, insert, update, and delete, and also atomic transactions that you have the control to commit or rollback. I've shown advanced sorting, limit and skip, and group by in previous slide. Moreover, LoveField has common aggregators, inner table join, self table join, left outer join, and aliases. These features empower you to perform very complex queries in very few lines of code. LoveField provides parameterized queries, and the idea is to prepare a query and bind the variables to that query so that the runtime values of the bound variables will be used to run the query. One super cool feature that LoveField has is the observable query. LoveField allows observation of the results of a select query. Say another asynchronous function in the code updates table contents, or the values of the parameterized query bindings change. The updated query results will be propagated to the handler of the observer. This offers a clean way of updating UI contents in an event-driven fashion. Behavior-wise, 
the field has integrity constraint checks, B plus tree for indices, query optimizer to ensure that the best indices are used and the queries are run as fast as possible, a query analyzer to display the user how the query is executed so that developers can tune their database and queries. The field is all about performance. The team created a performance dashboard to detail any performance regressions for daily changes. A lot of time has spent on optimizing the query engine. If you do find any query or execution paths that seem to be slower than expected, please report on GitHub and someone in the team will look into it. LoveField makes persisting data inside the browser much easier. Persisting data inside the browser is useful when the user go offline and want to use the app or to improve the app loading experience by using local cache before the server data returns. LoveField by default uses IndexedDB as persistent storage. If you're only interested in using LoveField's query engine, but not really wanted to persist sensitive data inside the browser, then MemoryDB is for you. LoveField can be used as a pure in-memory cache. Data come from some data uh, sources, say servers in the cloud, and the app uses LoveField's query engine to store the, these data in memory and performs query locally. Another exciting data persistence layer LoveField has is based on Firebase. Firebase is a cloud-based database Using LoveField on top of it makes the best of both worlds, a fully synchronized cloud database and a powerful relational query engine running on browser provided by LoveField. So if your web app is looking for a simpler relational database with the power of SQL, LoveField is a perfect match for you. For more information, check out our web-based code lab from Google I.O. or browse over to our GitHub page and grab the code and play around. Feel free to leave us some feedback, and if you find a problem, we're more than happy to accept contributions. Anyhow, check out the Love Field project, and thanks for watching.